What's up guys this is Rani welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 5 and today's topic will be how to stream LLM responses using llama index or let's say if you are using llama index for an uh, for an orchestration framework and inside that you are using some large language model now you have to actually uh, generate the response uh, you, uh, in, in the form of streaming output or you have to actually uh, stream your uh, responses then how are you going to achieve that that is our objective okay so first i'll explain what is streaming how visually actually it is different and then we'll do this uh, like um, the actual implementation so there are two things actually use open ai llm to get simple response as non non streaming and then we'll be going to use open ai llm to get a uh, simple response as streaming okay so let's start working on that it is going to be a very simple tutorial but again as i told you a lot of fundamental things will be covered and that will be the building blocks for your future upgrade okay so without wasting much time let's start working on that so first thing first for uh, from uh, llama index okay uh, dot llms dot open ai right and we'll be going to write import uh, import will be uh, let's say open AI. okay done now what will happen we'll be going to actually import another module so from llama index okay La llama index core okay dot llms okay and then import chat message right done okay so now what will happen first we'll be going to do non-streaming okay so non-streaming okay so how are we going to achieve that? So first of all, we'll be going to set LLM equals to open AI, right? And there I'll be going to set my model as like GPT, uh, GPT hyphen four Omni, right? And guys, so I have actually set my environment variable already in the system uh, properties, uh, like from the system environment variable. So you have to actually do that, okay? So it's just like you have to go to your properties and after that you have to do it. How to do it? So basically, if you just minimize this thing, if you go to my computer, then properties, then you have to uh, advanced system settings, then environment variable, and if you see here, you have to click on a new, and there you have to add as OpenAI API key like that. We have to add, okay? Right, okay. So now uh, let me minimize this thing again. So this is done. Okay. So now what will happen? We'll be going to create something called so something called a response, okay? So now response will be uh, LLM dot chat. So inside the chat, what are you gonna ask? We'll be going to ask some very simple question, right? So basically, uh, chat message, right? Something like this, and it is going to be like this. Okay. So first of all, we'll be going to define some role, right? Role. So role will be user. Okay. So now what will happen? Now content content will be uh, right and is a okay LLM right? It's done. Now what will happen? So basically it is actually going to uh, give me a uh, response so what i do i'll just going to actually use a print okay so print is actually going to give me response okay and guys you ha don't have to remember anything for example see if i just uh, hover my mouse over here it is actually going to give me the entire code okay so if somebody is actually saying that you have to remember so many things and all and they are remembering this thing it's absolutely uh, not appropriate and it is not the right way of doing it because uh, maybe after two months one more framework will be coming also there are already some framework like autogen crew ai so are you going to actually remember all those things no you have to just know the concept and after that you know how to actually use them that is the thing right and more you practice more you will be actually gain some confidence right so see i remember in this way right so like that way it's right so now if you do something it is going to give me a uh, essay or uh, on llm right so let's see i hope my uh, 
uh, how can I assist today? Oh, sorry, it will be content. T and T contained. So let's see. Okay. I just uh, made a mistake, so that is why it is not uh, giving me the correct answer. Okay. So hopefully this time it is going to give me the correct answer. Okay. Maybe it is generating some essay. Yeah. So if you see here, it is generating an essay, but it is actually writing everything at a single shot, right? So now you want to actually stream that. How to actually stream that? So let's actually copy that thing. Okay. And sorry, what is happening here? So control C and what I'll do, I'll come here and paste it, right? And now what I'll do, I'll be just going to comment this line and here I'll be just going to write uh, with with streaming, right? Okay. As I told you, I don't remember anything. So there is something called stream chat. Okay. The moment you say stream chat, there is a special property called uh, uh, stream chat like this. And after that, you have to just add this extra line here. Okay. So just copy this thing. Okay. And you have to just add this extra line. So basically. Uh, We'll be going to change that okay obviously you, you when you say you are copying you have to have a little bit knowledge on the programming right or else you won't be able to understand right and then you'll be going to write gen right and it will be gen dot delta okay so now it is done now what will happen we'll be going to actually like this okay and let's say we'll be going to execute this thing Okay, and let's see. Now you see it is streaming one by one. It is actually writing, so that is called streaming, right? When you write something on the chat GPT, it is actually going to give you the streaming response of the output, right? That is what actually happening here, right? Okay, so that was the ultimate uh, objective. I want to actually show you guys over here, and hopefully, you guys understood. And this is how you can use any. Uh, language model here right so right now i'm using open ai you can use some other models as well right and i will try to keep the focus at the beginning with open ai and later on whenever you are going to actually switch to basics to intermediate i'll be just going to cover some intermediate use cases as well okay and one more thing guys like here i'm actually using chat or stream chat so there are some asynchronous methods are there like a chat or stream a chat so I'll be going to cover those things maybe in the later on and mostly those things are actually very important whenever you are actually going to do some sort of like large scale integration project they're actually sequential or parallel processing is actually uh, important right so that time you can actually use those things and those things are very important right important aspects of actually llama index right okay so with that note I'll believe the tutorial is over but before I conclude this tutorial I would like to so a couple of things um, first thing is actually um, if you if you go to our youtube channel you will find uh, a lot of playlist on artificial intelligence and llm driven uh, like um, like initiatives like for example uh, i have a tutorial on langchain and that tutorial basically uh, having 100 videos so it's a complete playlist with langchain and the, the playlist is actually not over I'm going to upload that but now my focus is actually on llama index so maybe weekly two videos I will upload on Langchain and weekly six to seven videos I'll try to upload on um, llama index so that is my objective because uh, those hundred videos are actually um, I believe uh, more than enough at this moment so that you guys can learn practice and come back when you guys are actually going to be a little bit like advance on Langchain, probably I'll try to upload more videos. But right now, my entire focus is actually on Llama Index, and hopefully, you guys will support me. And the support I'm expecting from all of you is actually um, please try to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, share my videos, hit the bell notification icon so you should not miss any notification from my future updates. And why I'm actually keep on asking or requesting to subscribe uh, my channel is uh, basically. Um, until and unless you guys are not subscribing my audience base will not grow and if the audience base is actually 
does not grow over the period of time youtube is not going to promote or youtube algorithm is actually not going to push my videos to the large number of audience and my ultimate objective is actually uh, to reach the large number of audience right so please help me to reach my goal i will uh, come back again and again with uh, uh, some interesting use case driven video right so that is the ultimate uh, ask for from all of you i hope you guys will help me to grow okay with that note i'm just going to conclude the video over here we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning Thank you.